Coalition. <laughs> this is Alex. She's a dear friend of ours who we found out has never actually been to Ikea. We were shocked. We were confused. How could somebody have gone through so many years of their lives without venturing into the wonderful Swedish world that is Ikea? Something had to be done. One of the many things that I love about Alex is just listening to her talk because I could just listen to her for hours and I love hearing what she has to say about the world. Not in Mexico, especially Tijuana. So guess how long this meat was laying out there, bro? A long time, but guess what tasted good? This meat that was laying out there a long time. So was I nitpicky about it? No, because it was cactus in my salsa, so. After sharing a few fun anecdotes, we finally made it to the nearest Ikea and oh my gosh, the excitement, the wonder. I cannot wait to have meatballs and salmon. That's only seven dollars. Wrote that myself. So it was really good. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Things were going great. Is it called a pencil or is it called like a fix of this? <laughs> no, it's a pencil. <laughs> okay. Like break the corners. So spot the black edge as you go marking them on this map. Unfortunately, while filling out that form, we found out we were actually way too old to be participating in their scavenger hunt. It was a bit of a disappointment, but we weren't going to allow that to ruin our night because we were on to the IKEA food. And honestly, my favorite part of it, I love to eat here. Don't know why. I pray that they have my favorites there all the time. I got super excited. I got out of line to get those little tray cart things because I was just too afraid that I was going to drop everything I got. Yes, this was all for me. Please keep your complaints to yourself. I had a wonderful time. I was grateful that I got that card actually because I just knew that I would drop all of this and I would be sad and it would be a waste of what, like $19 because yeah, that's my favorite part about this is how inexpensive all this food is. And like, is it the best quality? No. Is it still amazing? Yes. So something new I wanted to try was his Ecologis Dirk Flatter. Don't know how to say that, but oh my gosh, one of my favorite things I got that night. <laughs> what? I like that. A lot. It's like an elderflower extract juice thing. Don't know, but 10 out of 10 recommend. 9 out of 10 dentists recommend. That's how great it is. But the drinks do not stop there. No, I got the Ecologist Strict Lingen. Um, yeah, don't know how to say that. As well as a cup of black coffee. For the Lingen juice, it's just basically cranberry juice. Nothing special, just cranberry, but with a hint of Sweden. And as for the coffee, well, it just tastes like coffee to me, like nothing. But I decided to give it off to the two baristas that I was with. And judging by their faces, I could tell they absolutely hated it. Okay, but enough about that. Let's talk about food. I did get the Swedish meatballs, which is an Ikea staple. But on that plate, there was green beans, which I actually don't really eat. I am the pickiest eater of my family, and this was the first time I ever had green beans. They weren't terrible, they just weren't amazing, so glad I wasn't missing out on anything all those years. Next plate I had was this salmon and quinoa. Salmon tasted good, tasted just how I expected it, but the quinoa tasted like dried hard eraser nubs, and please do not ask me how I know how those taste like. I'm currently not taking any criticism on the subject. Probably the best thing I got was what my sister actually ordered, which was this pork shank thing. Yeah, mwah, delicious. And now for the best part of the evening, the desserts. First up, we got this gooey chocolate cake, which was just like a fudgy brownie. And I dropped the last piece on my phone, but that did not stop me. I still ate it. Next up, we got this berry crumb cheesecake. Tasted like any other cheesecake. Nothing special, but not bad. Couldn't get it on my spoon. My sister got the chocolate conspiracy cake. I'm not a huge chocolate cake fan, but this was actually pretty good. I also couldn't get this on my spoon. I'm really sorry. I'm trying my best. Last, but certainly not least, will be Ikea's dime cake. I love her so much. Wow. Layers are just wonderful goodness. Am I overhyping it? Probably, but nuance. Please ignore all the green beans on the plate, because besides Besides that, we did finish and enjoy all our food, and it was now time for phase two of falling in love with IKEA, and that was exploring all of the sales floor. We do what anybody else does at IKEA, which is pretend as if you live inside of these showrooms, as well as take a lot of unnecessary photos. We also sat in a lot of chairs, like this chair, 
We also sat in this chair. We sat in and saw some other chairs. Please do not speak to me or my son ever again. I also saw this one chair that for some reason, whenever I see it, reminds me of episode two of Star Wars when Obi-Wan Kenobi, when he went to that clone planet and he met like these tall aliens. I picture them sitting in this chair, but when I told my sister about this, she said it looks more like the robot that helped Padme give birth to Luke and Leia in episode 3, so let me know what you think. Hi, I'm Martha Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> More reasons to love Ikea is finding all these little accent pieces you could put into your own home, like wooden birds, a discarded carton of milk probably from a child, as well as a dirty old fedora. Honestly, the possibilities are endless with all the stuff that you could find at Ikea. This will give me all the dreams I've had of being like a Mexican grandmother, but in OC. <laughs> we started to get a little tired, but thankfully we came across some mattresses that were good from my Rebecca. Afterwards, we made our way downstairs and found a group of friendly plants and succulents. Alex also taught me the importance of pruning that day. And immediately after that, my phone actually died, so thank you, Natasha, for letting me use your phone to record the rest of this night. Speaking of not being hard on yourself, guess what I did? I got more desserts because I have no shame. Like I told you, I love eating here. Something that we all got was this Ecologist Cider Paron not saying that right either but it's this pear soda that i get here all the time and i love so much i also devoured my soft serve but i put aside my cinnamon bun because i knew i was not going to be able to finish it because i am still human i do get full unfortunately the store was closing soon so it was time to say hadu to ikea but alex's first ikea trip was a success we had a lot of fun and i had a great time eating all that food now the next morning there was a cinnamon snatcher in our midst. I thought somebody had taken it without letting me know who could it have been, where was it? But then I found out my mom actually packed it away for me for breakfast. So we're all good.